Hi everyone. Thank you very much for watching My Little Life channel. In this channel, I introduce Japanese food and culture from London. In this video, I introduce Japanese ingredients, what to buy and where to buy. Japanese ingredients and condiments are available in lots of places, including major supermarkets. But I found that sometimes they are quite expensive. When you try new Japanese recipe, it doesn't mean you have to have every single everything written on the recipe. So here, I introduce two ingredients you cannot replace with anything, and then other ingredients you can replace with local UK ingredients. Also, you can find the links on below for shopping. Let's get started. So ingredients we don't have any alternatives are soy sauce and dashi. For soy sauce, I personally recommend go for Japanese made, like some Japanese maker here. Chinese and Thai brand soy sauce is very common here. But usually, they are saltier than Japanese one. Japanese one has got slightest sweetness, even its soy sauce. So final outcome will be quite different. The other thing is dashi. Dashi is broth, extract by umami flavored ingredients like those, mainly kelp seaweed or bonito fish flake. If you are interested in more information about dashi, please check my video here. Originally, we take dashi out of those ingredients, boiling ingredients with water. However, this kind of pre-made packet is more handy and economical. In fact, taking dashi from scratch is super difficult in Europe because water is harder than Japanese one. So simply using this packet and get better outcome. Choose MSG free products. And the other things I'd like to add in this category is rice vinegar. Rice vinegar tastes very different from grapes vinegar. It gives slightly sweet and nice savory taste onto sushi rice. Without this, we cannot make sushi. Check this video to get to know what Japanese people do for the sushi rice. Then, there are several ingredients. It's nice to have them, but also we got alternatives. Firstly, milling. Milling is sweet syrup made by rice wine. Use this to give extra sweet flavor for dishes, and it can be replaced by sugar. We use mirin for teriyaki a lot. And to make a nice shiny texture for teriyaki, we need a mirin instead of sugar. Another thing you see a lot in the recipe is rice wine. If you have nice sake rice wine, you'd rather drink it than using for cooking. So you can buy sake for cooking, like this product. In my case, I just use white wine instead. Because sake rice wine is used for reduce smell or strong taste of fish or meat, and white wine can do the same job. The other things we use quite often is this potato starch powder called katakuriko. This is used for butter or Japanese style fried chicken to give extra crunchy texture. Lastly, three things good to keep. It's not must but you can use for different variety of Japanese cooking and make them very authentic. First one is miso, which is fermented soybeans paste. With miso, 
we can make miso soup, dips, also used for the additional seasoning for variety of Japanese cooking. Usually, you can keep three months in fridge. This is dry seaweed called wakame. We use for soup, ramen noodle, or salad. You see this wakame seaweed next to the sushi from takeaway shop a lot. After it's dehydrated by water, get five times bigger. Only takes five minutes. Finally, sesame seed. Whether it's authentic Japanese or Western twisted dishes, it will be really nice decoration. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. If you are also interested in Japanese cooking, please check my other videos here. Thank you very much for watching till the end and have a good day.